Hey guys, I'm back again with a brand new video for you all, and this time we've got a battle submission from our Discord member I'm Slaking Off. 1M Slaking Off, and he went 20 wins in his 25 battles with this team. Greninja in the lead, and Carbink and Oranguru at the back. Now, the things that he wanted me to mention in the video is Greninja and Oranguru core breaks the Clocksire and Foraligator lines, and Carbink is the answer for the dark types. And he gives shields to Greninja because the energy in Greninja is very much valuable in this line. Now, if you guys want to climb, then definitely try this team. This team was also featured in our video of 20 best teams for the Great League Open Great League this season. There we had Hypno and our trainer here is running Oranguru in place of Hypno. And thank you, I'm slaking off for sending me your battle videos. So without any further ado, let's start the battles here. Moving on to the first battle, it's going to be Class EP310, our Greninja in the lead against a Gastrodon. Alright, Gastroidis, and they save swap into their Ferrali Gator, Shadow Ferrali Gator. That's a not a uh, good thing to do against a Greninja, brings Ferrari Gator. Man, Ferrari Gator, all Ferrari Gator is gonna do is just throw the Hydro Cannons. And we can spam those Night Slash. Those are gonna be the neutral moves. This is already gonna be another Night Slash. And Greninja is a very good answer for, uh, for Ferrari Gator, actually. And that is why Greninja is gonna be good for both Great League and Ultra League because there are gonna be a lot of for alligator users, a lot of for alligator users, a lot of for alligator users. And let's just go for this, another Night Slash. And they caught it into their Gastrodon, so fine play. And we come in with our Oranguru, definitely, because we got Carbink at the back, which doesn't wanna see this Gastritis. This is gonna be the Gastritis for Carbink, actually. And we actually shield, and let's just go for the double Brutal Swing here. And I believe they, like, don't shield this. Yep, they will not shield. They will let their gastritis go. And they come in with their, whoa. There we go. Confusion user. That's amazing, right? There's a poison type. So we're throwing this trailblaze to boost our attack. Now our attack is boosted. These confusions are going to do a lot of damage now. Look at the damage. So they threw their brutal swing. And they come in with their Ferrari Gator. We actually farm them down. And we have a brutal swing loaded. We do one more confusion. And then throw the trailblaze. And we can now comfortably come in with our carving. There is nothing this guy can do against our carving. We can just fast move them down to win this game. Yep. Uh, that's just going to be a player off. And they're going to do a lot of that. So GG's. Moving on to another battle. It's going to be our Greninja against a Golurk. There we go. Greninja is like winning leads a lot of the times. That is why Greninja is going to be a very good lead. Actually, it's my favorite lead after Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is my first... Uh, favorite lead in this meta and I believe they will double shield here Let's see. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, they double shield and we uh, They win the lead there, but we have two shields still So we're not gonna shield this. We're not gonna shield this This is gonna be the shadow punch and I believe we'll sh farm them fully down and we will shield this I think and this is most probably going to be dynamic punch. Yep. And they bring in their Oranguru against our Oranguru. Now we'll throw these Trailblaze to boost our attack. And then uh, this uh, Brutal Swing is going to do a lot of damage. And we're going to invest a shield here. Now we are even in shields. That is we don't have any shields. Both sides. <laughs> and let's just go for this uh, Brutal Swing. And which uh, did a lot of damage. But yeah. Uh, still didn't knock them out. So they will throw the move here. Which... Uh, gives us the opportunity to farm but they didn't let us and it's a dugong at the back so there's nothing to do this dugong can do they can throw the drill run but one drill run is obviously not going to be enough against our carving because it's a bulk beast and look at that we got the power gem and we take the victory there we can just fast move this oranguru and it's a gg moving on to another battle it's going to be golark against our grand ninja again a golark all right this time they bring in their ampharos and we bring in our Carbink. Now, if they have Trailblaze, that is going to be the only good thing that they're going to throw. And if they have, we're not going to shield the first one. Now, their attack is boosted. Now, we might shield another one. We'll go for this Power Gem. Now, uh, they will most likely throw another uh, Power Gem by shielding. Yep, they shield. And we shield because their attack is boosted. And there we go. That's going to be Trailblaze. Even boosting their attack more. And yeah, before we reach to the power gen, they'll reach to their move and we double shield and fast move them down. I guess that is going to be the play here, right? Yep. And yeah, they still got one shield. 
But let's see how much that is going to matter. They bring in their Golark and we reach to the Moon Blast. If this guy doesn't shield this, this is going to do a lot of damage. And that did a lot of damage, but we go down with fast moves. And they bring in their Azumarill, saving a little health in their Golark. We bring in our Oranguru. Let's throw the super effective Trailblaze. 100% they will not shield the first one. Uh, yeah, they will tend to shield the second one. Which one is boosted? And this is going to be the player of most likely. Yep. And let's just go for the double brutal swing because they're most likely going to shield, right? So okay, we're going for the trailblaze, and they actually shield. So they throw the energy. I mean, they they need to throw the energy, right? Or else these confusions are going to do a lot. And that's going to be the icy uh, ice beam. And they cast the night slash into their Golark. And we didn't charge any bubbles there. We undercharge, and this allows us to get one more uh, fast move there. And we get to the Night Slash and take this Azumarill out. Good plays by our trainer here. GG's. And whoa, that was a necessary boost there at the end of the battle. And moving on to another one. It's going to be our Greninja against uh, Galvantula. Wow. So we bring in our Oranguru, and they bring in their... Uh, Umbria, so this is like hot countered, right? Yeah, this is hot countered all the way. Well, let's see. Uh, these confusions and trailblaze are now boosted, and we are actually shielding the foul play. So let's just go for the another trailblaze after doing uh, one more confusion. Would be uh, they're just keeping to keep throwing these foul plays. We actually shielded one and we threw the trailblaze and. This is going to do a little bit of more damage, but it's not going to do that much to our uh, Umbreon. We come in with our Ninja here, and then they catch the move into their uh, Galvantula, the Hydro Cannon. Oh, actually, they have Venusaur. Damn, we are so much countered here. So it's uh, Galvantula against our Ninja, Umbreon against our Oranguru, Venusaur against our Carving, it would be. This Frenzy Plant is going to... Wow, this is hard counter. All right, so we're going to confusion this thing down. We simultaneously knock out each other. And it's going to be... All right, so it's going to be uh, Galvantula and Umbreon remaining. So <laughs> I don't think... Okay, we still... This is where carbine comes in hand, right? Damn. Uh, it doesn't matter if they debuff us. We're just going to fast move them down. And now we're going to shield here. Yep, and... Now they bring in their Umbreon. Wow, this is going to be fast move game now for us. They will definitely throw the energy, which is going to be last resort and foul play. And just throwing, uh, now we throw the power gem. All right. So they shield, uh, obviously. And let's just go for another one. There's like nothing they can do right now, right? <laughs> Damn. Look at that carving the bulk. Wow. We are going to win this game, actually, man. <laughs> Damn, that's so great. So, let's see. Uh, they are going to just keep throwing these uh, last resorts, right? Doing nothing. So, we can just farm this Galvantula down. And uh, can we tank one more? Can we tank one more? And we actually go for the Moon Blast. We reach there. And this is going to overkill this Umbreon. Good game, GG's. Really fun battle here. <laughs> GG's. Moving on to another battle. It's going to be Kurt. Hey Kurt, alright, it's gonna be Diggers against the Ninja. Quick attack Diggers. People are running, definitely, uh, quick attack is more preferred after the buff for the Mud Shot. Let's just go for the super effective Hydro Cannon. They actually don't shield, so we're sh investing the shield here. And this is gonna be the Scorching Sand. They would have done a lot of damage. Now we're just going for the Night Slash because they're in a Night Slash range. The Fat Boy Diggers. And we take them out. They bring in their Azu. All right, Azu, let's just go for the uh, Hydro Cannon. Soften that thing, right? Uh, maybe catch the player off or Ice Beam. So, okay, we soften them and then come in with our Carbink. I like this play, actually. And this is going to be not Hydro Pump. <laughs> it's going to be player off. And people are running Hydro Pump, actually. Yep. And this is going to be another player off, so we can just a little bit overload on energy and then go for the uh, Moon Blast here. So let's just go for this Moon Blast. Let's see if they decide to shield. They decide to shield and then uh, go for another 
Push for the moon blast actually. All right. Oh, we caught the move. We caught the player off in our Oranguru. That is fine. That is good play. And they have Sableye. All right. So let's just build up to. All right. They we throw the Trailblaze here. This will boost our attack, right? And they don't shield the first one. That did a lot of damage. And I think so. They might be at like I don't know. They might be at 11 Shadow Claws. So let's just throw. Oh, they they had the double foul play. All right, so uh, that's already double. Let's just go. Uh, this is gonna knock us out. So let's just go for the night slash, which is gonna knock them out. The shadow sable eye. And let's just push for this night slash and throw the night slash. If this, that was CMP, that's gonna be so much great. And they don't shield it. And that was the CMP. So we can just come in with our carbing. Now that this Azumarill doesn't have uh, energy, we can just fast move them down and take the victory. GG's. Tight battles. Good battles. Our trainer here won. And slaking off. It's actually, I'm slaking off, right? So it's going to be leaky, leaky. There you go. This is, this is fine for us, right? The only thing they're going to do here is nerf the body slam. So we can tank that one. And let's just build up to the double and throw the Hydro Cannon here. And after this Hydro Cannon, we just... Okay, they, another one will knock them out, so we are forcing them to shield by throwing this Hydro Cannon. And they shield, actually, and let's see if they... Uh, okay, we decided to shield. Now, I I, I am guessing after a few uh, fast moves here, they will be in Night Slash range. And, yep, they will be in Night Slash range. So, if they don't shield, they we win the lead here, and they shield. So, alright, we're letting this go, and we're taking the shield advantage, not the lead right not the switch here we coming with our oranguru they will reach to their move this is going to be the body slam we'll tank one body slam and fully found them down with confusion and they bring in their ferrari gator they don't have any shield oranguru coming in clutch let's just go for these trailblaze that's gonna do a lot of damage and if there was shadow it would have done a lot of damage more and we're just shielding and i believe we can fast move them down yep but we can fast move them down and they have Cresselia at the back. We can go for a double brutal swing here. This is going to be number one. And after two, this is going to be number two. So we can just stay and force them to throw. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And yep, this move will t take us out. And that's going to be the moon blast. Now I think we can just fa fast move them down. And they have Leaky Leaky still remaining, which has a little health remaining, right? This is going to be the Grass Knot. Even though if it's super effective, it doesn't look like super effective. And yeah, fast move the Leaky Leaky. And we take the victory there. GG. Moving on to another battle. And our trainer have won 8,000 over 8,000 Great League battles. Wow. So it's going to be Lantern. All right, Lantern. This is going to be Water Gun Lantern. Let's just spam these neutral night slash now that they're running water gun we have a rock type carving at the back so we would like to stay here that's how our trainer is doing here we're going to be spamming these neutral night slash and uh all right this is going to be the all right we shield we play safe here right we play safe here and they bait us with the surf so we just go for the night slash and they caught it in their alteria and guess what this alteria is gonna Meet our carbing. We undercharge there <laughs> to give carbing more um, farm. Actually, <laughs> that's a good play. There's nothing this Alteria can do. People are running Alteria Lantern. The nerfed guys, the nerfed mons. Guys, stop using them, man. This guy is gonna take forever to load to Sky Dag now, <clears throat> and plus doing nothing. So we're gonna threaten that Water Gun Surf with a lot of energy, double power gem. And they come in actually with their fur thorn, which is a smart move by our opponent. Now we just go for the moon blast here. Oh my gosh, this guy actually is very good against our team. Yes, fur thorn is good against our team here. Now I believe let's just come in with our Greninja and spam the night slash by shielding once and then overload. We can overload by two actually. Oh, actually, oh, we come in with our Oranguru uh, loading Night Slash. And we're confusion, confusioning them down. Confusioning them down. And <laughs> we just go for the Brutal Swing. All we need is their shields. Alright. 
And they've got a little... Uh, one movie's not gonna knock our Oranguru out. Oranguru is tanky, guys. And it's gonna be their... Uh, oh, they need to shield. And guess what? Greninja obviously wins CMP against a Lantern. That is why they know we have uh, Night Slash. That is why they didn't shield there. So it's gonna be Surf. And we can just, I think, fast move this... Uh, Lantern GG's nice. Oh, they have third one remaining. All right, I missed it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> they had third one remaining, and we have double light slash. Great, it was great, man. It was still tight battles. Nice, it was Lantern lead against our Greninja, guys. Moving on to another battle, it's going to be Dunsparce. All right, let's see what our trainer decides to do here against the Dunsparce. Let's just go for these hydro cannons. We'd like to stay here. All right, let's just go for these hydro cannons, man. I, I I might want to try this team as soon as I wake up tomorrow. Damn, I need to build a Oranguru though. I have not yet built Oranguru. Well, I I do have Shadow Hypno and Normal Hypno. Now let's just go for this hydro cannon. All right, uh, I think they will shield here. Oh, they didn't shield. All right, so they come in with their Ferali Gator. This is where Greninja comes in clutch. We can just come in with our Oranguru after they take us out with their Shadow Claws. And we'll not reach to another one. And yep, we come in with our Oranguru. We'll tank one Hydro. Okay, we shield the Hydro Cannon. And, uh... Wow, they've got Malamar. Alright, so we got Carving. Alright, great. Only thing they can throw here is going to be the... Superpower. Which is going to be... Now they're throwing Foul Plays. Alright. So we'll just go for this uh, power gem. And they believe, uh, I believe they shield it. Yep, they shield it. And let's just, you know, like, not shield here. Yeah. And this is going to be just another foul play. And uh, now they will reach to the super power. Oh, all right. We, for the power gem, we reach the power gem first. Wow. And yeah, they shield it. Now uh, we come in with our Oranguru, but we didn't reach the Brutal Swing, but we are going to shield this foul play. And look to throw the brutal swing against this guy. And they didn't try to catch it or something. Now this thing is gonna knock this out. And we can actually leave confusion them down. Because one hydro cannon is not gonna be enough to knock our Oranguru out. And they actually throw the crunch, which is also not gonna be enough. And GG's moving on to another battle. It's going to be Grimer. Wow, XL Grimer. Alright, so this is gonna be Amanda Buzz Safe Swap. So this Mandibus safe swap is completely, completely walled by our carving here. We can just fast move them down and don't throw any energy, any move here. I mean, charge move. That's how it's going to go against the mana bus, right? Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter if we go over 100 energy. At least that's what I would like to do. All right, so. Oh, we actually throw the energy here. We throw the energy. Yeah, but it takes a lot of time, right? Yeah. And this this grimer is gonna get this power gem. And they shield and we come in with our Grand Ninja and they have the low kicks. Alright, people are a lot of people are running low kicks. The hydro cannon is gonna do so much damage if they don't shield it. And look at that how much damage that did, man. We just go for the night slash, not giving them any opportunity to get to the move, forcing them to shield. If they want to throw the charge move, they don't shield. And it's like looking very good for us. We go for the hydro cannon. Now they need to shield this because this hydro cannon is gonna do a lot of damage because it's such a good move. And plus their shadow. Now let's just go for the night slash. Our trainer realizing we'll not get to the hydro cannon, so we throw the night slash before dying. That's a very good move. And we have a confusion user against this poison type. This was long over. And it's a GG. Yep. Now moving on to another battle. It's going to be Death Knight. Meets Clotsire, our Granger. And they come in with their Umbreon. Wow, that's great. That's great. That's great. Putting Carbink at the back is so great. Wow, putting Carbink at the back is like so so great and i think yeah i think uh, now i'm thinking what should be the highlight should be the greninja or carving or orangu all three are awesome man what do i do wow <laughs> let's just go for this moon blast they actually shield all right now they come in with their claude and we come in with our ninja and throw the hydro cannon as soon as we reach there 
and uh, shield this, yeah, shield this, overload on energy, and then throw the Hydro Can. Oh, we actually throw the Night Slash. Alright, this uh, Night Slash, I like, uh, yeah, uh, that knocked them out. That was in Night Slash range. Now, nothing from this will KO from this Umbreon, this range. That's the last resort, and we're, we can overload a little bit and then throw the Hydro Cannon. We have back-to-back -back moves here. And they don't shield it, actually, and they go for another move, which is fine. We can come in with our Carbink and just farm them. They will actually bring in their Malamar. We throw this Moonblast. They are dark, so needs to shield this. And they shield. So we'll just stay and... Build up to the moon blast. It doesn't matter what they throw at us. We'll shield the one first one if it's going to be the superpower. But yeah. Now I don't think this another move is going to uh, knock us out, even if it's going to be superpower. So we'll reach to the moon blast, and yep, this is gonna knock this Malamar out of the way, and we are actually staying, and because we know that. Fastmoves are going to do a lot of damage, and now they are in one confusion down range, and nothing will one shot us. And it's a GG. And that is it, guys. I hope you like this content. GG's 8,620 wins for our trainer in the open in the Great League format. And yep, this team is really awesome, guys. Really awesome. Greninja is awesome. Carbink is awesome. Oranguru is awesome. And yep, I'm gonna run this team. And if you like the content, then please leave like and comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Thank you so much. And thank you. I'm slaking off for sending me your battles. Uh, thank you guys.